Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to build an income tax calculator in Appian. We will cover the logic of the tax labs. We will design this modern UI and we will also add a column chart to show the data on a graph as well. So before we jump into the details, let's see that how this income tax calculator works. For example, here you will enter an income. Any income which is greater than 12 0.75 lakh will come into the tax bracket so i have put here 13 lakhs of rupees so when you put 13 lakhs here you can see the taxable income is 12 lakh 25000 because there is standard deduction of 75000 and your total tax has come up 66300 rupees how it has come up so for this one only we are using the breakdowns here and you can see here this is a dynamic card group layout which is a new feature in appian we will get to know that how can we use that as well so here you can see 0 to 4 lakh there is 0 percent tax 4 to 8 5 percent so your total tax will become 20,000 8 to 12 10 and it will become 40,000 and 12 to 16 and see your amount is greater than 12 but it is less than 16 so your tax has become just 3750 rupees only and here in the graph as well you can see that if I put a very big number so let's see that 36 LP I have put it here so you can see multiple multiple slabs of rate you will get it automatically these card groups are working so we will try to create an expression rule first of all and then we will try to see like how in the ui you can integrate all these details so let's go into our expression rule this is the yt calculate income tax i have created a rule input income here which is of integer type here so let's create a local variable first of all and the very first variable that we are going to take here is standard deduction. So standard deduction is about 75,000 in the new tax regime. Now what will be the taxable income then? So whatever the income user have input, it will get minus from the standard deduction. Now next thing we are going to see here is what are the different slab rates. So the different slab rates are you can see here up to 4 lakhs is 0 and then 5 to 30 is divided here so these are the different slab rates so we will put all these numbers here so now we have put here all the different slab rates here now whatever the income let's say like if user enters 16 lakh of rupees in which slab he is currently how the system will know how my expression will know like in which slab he falls into we know that it is under 12 to 16 LPA, but how the system will know? So for that particular purpose, I have created a decision rule here. So any income that you put it here, let's say 16 LPA is there and click on test. So it will give you that from 12 lakh to 16 lakh, it is 15% slab rate. So we can get the exact slab rate and decision is one of the best way to show all these values. Even you can see here, uh, it is kind of decision table only logic is given. So you can create a decision table like this one, make the rule order unique only and you can put different income slabs here and you can get the tax for that particular slab. So now we will copy this rule and paste in our expression. So I have created a local variable, local bank applicable slab. So applicable slab I will get from this one here in the income slab just copy your taxable income here so i will get my applicable slab here let's just call this particular local and test it here click on test if it is 16 lpa let's see what is the value so here you can see i am into 10 lpa bracket because my standard deduction is also there if i increase from if i increase the value to 19 click on test here and you will be able to see this will get changed okay it is not showing the correct value oh the standard direction i have taken one more zero let's remove one zero and then we will get the correct answer here so you can see here 20 percent is the bracket for that now the next thing we will consider is that let's say the user falls under 20 percent bracket so we have to calculate from 0 to 20 here for each of the slabs for 25 to 30 we will not calculate how can we know that what all slabs to calculate here so what we will do here is is so I have created a local variable local bank all income slab in this particular part here we will check that where that value present in the array so where contains local bank applicable slab in this particular array slab rate 
so let's see that where it is present so it is at the fifth index and we need from one two three four five all the five data we need it here how can we get that particular value it means that we can enumerate over this particular value first of all we will take it out of the index otherwise enumeration won't work here so i have taken it out of this one here and click on test and here you can see the 5 is without any indexes and now we can enumerate over that so let's try to enumerate the data and plus 1 and click on test so here you will get 1 2 3 4 5 all the value and for all the value we will need the slab rate as well so where is that data so that data is present in local bank slab rate so i will get here slab rate and null and just test it here so here you will get that the value is 20 so all the slab rate you have got from 0 to 20 here now the next thing what we have to do here is that we have to calculate the tax amount for each particular slab rate so what we will do here is local bank tax amount so we will iterate over this one a bank for each and items is going to be local bank all income slab and let's try to write our expression here and in the expression we will take here match function the value that we want to match is fv bank item and if it equals to zero see if the, your slab is zero it basically it means that uh, you don't have to pay any income at all right so for this particular part so if it equals to zero then your taxable income will be multiplied by zero because first rate is zero here and if it equals to 5 now see here is the catch here and here you have to be careful about the calculation part if it equals to 5 basically it means that in the 5 rate if you will see here for 5 percent it is from 4 lakh to 8 lakhs so first of all we will check that the taxable income if it is greater than 8 lakh basically the difference between them is 4 lakh so we will get the 5 percent of 4 lakh but if it is less than 4 lakhs then we will consider that amount here so what we will write here is local bank taxable income if it is greater than 8 lakh then what we will do here is we will get the 4 lakh into 0.05 5 percent we will calculate of that one but let's say if the income is not greater than 8 lakhs at all so we will again check the if condition that is it less than 4 lakh then what we will do here is then we will not calculate at all because it is less than 4 lakhs but if it is not less than 4 lakh then we will get the difference between the taxable income minus the 4 lakhs and now we will just try to multiply with 0.05 percent and we will try to check it here and the, let's give our default value as null here and test it out once so once you will test it out you will see here it is 0 and then 20,000 similarly we have to calculate for other values as well 5 10 15 and 20 so I will just copy and paste it here so let's do for 10 percent slab here so we just have to replace with 0 0.10 and for 10 percent what is the value 8 lakh to 12 lakh what is the upper threshold 12 lakhs so instead of 8 we will replace with 12 ca and here if it is greater than 12 lakhs obviously the difference between 8 and 12 is everywhere if you can see the difference is 4 lakhs only so that is completely fine but if it is less than what what is the lower threshold lower threshold is 8 lakhs of so here we will keep here 8 and here as well we will keep here 8 and the value is going to be 10 percent and similarly we have to do for the other part as well let's copy and paste it once again now it is for a 15 percent so for 15 percent upper threshold here is 16 lpa so we will put here 16 if it is 16 difference is obviously 4 lakhs here and if it is less than what is the lower threshold lower threshold is 12 lakhs so we will just keep it here 12 lakhs and here as well 12 and it is going to be 15 percent similarly we have to do for 20 and 25 as well let me complete for 20 here so for 20 upper threshold is 20 lpa so instead of this one we will put here 20 and the lower threshold here is 16 lpa so we will put here 16 and here we can put it here 20 percent that's it and let's put it the next one now the next is here is 25 percent upper limit of 25 percent is 24 lpa 
so we will just put it here 24 and the lower limit is going to be 20 and here as well we'll put it here 20 and here we'll put here 0.25 percent and the last is 30 see for 30 what they are saying here is above 24 lakhs so if your taxable income is above 24 lakhs then we will directly uh, we will multiply with this particular difference here your taxable income minus the lower threshold into 0 0.30 other we will just put it here zero that's it so in this way we have got all the particular values here click on test tool and see here you will be able to find different values of taxes here 20 40 20 and then 45,000 as well all these particular values of taxes we are able to get it here so now we are able to get all the different tax amount. We just have to add all of them together and get the output here. So for getting the output, we have to create a UI as well. So we will try to get all the value required in the UI. For example, we will try to return a map of data uh, for the UI so that it will be easy to construct our graphs and all. So first of all, we will put a slab here. So what are the slabs user has? So all income slab, we will put it here. After that we will put slab amount like what all amount he has to give for each slab so local bank tax amount we can put it here after that there is taxable amount here so what was the taxable amount so taxable amount was local bank taxable income and finally the tax here so what is the tax so sum of all this tax amount we can put it here and click on enter and you will be able to get the tax amount but see till here as well the calculation is not completed there is something one one more thing that i got to know that after all this there is four percent cess as well so what we will do here is we will create another local for calculating that local bank sum amount if the sum of local bank tax amount if it is less than equal to 60,000 then it will be zero otherwise the same will get local bank tax amount into 1.04 otherwise there is 4% cess as well and now this one only will be our final tax don't get confused with why we have done that because see there is a new provision here that if you put here 12 lpa of tax if you test it you have to pay zero tax why because it is less than 60000 the total tax even if, if if i keep here 13 lpa and click on test rule here then you will get some tax here now we will see that how we have created the ui part here so in the ui if you go here first of all in the ui we have called this particular rule here and whatever is the income that user will write it will get captured into local bank income and then the rule to calculate the slab after that these are my local to calculate the different slab here these values are only showing up here in the card group layout now the next thing here is we have taken rich text field here to show the different taxable income like this is the taxable income and you can see our rule is returning data like this one here slab is this one different slab amount are there taxable income is there tax is there all this part here and the important thing was the how to configure a card group layout because let's say that somebody has less income so less card should show automatically so if i just put here 13 lpa so see here how it will only show one two three four cards only but somebody will just put here instead of 13 31 so all the different card group will show here this is a new feature in appian and how we will configure it let's see that card group layout i have taken and now i have taken a card slab local bank basically what i am trying to do here is i have created a map of data for the card slab here so i have taken the id here for each slab that you are getting that value here so that id is a vbank index rate i have taken and the amount we have taken here with the help of this one here after this we have completed the card group layout how card group works basically you have to just give the cards here nothing else automatically it will try to rearrange the cards based on the width here so what we will take here is card group layout we have taken and then a rich text to show all the different values here rich text to show the labels 0 to 4 4 to 8 and then a rich text to show the rate and finally the tax amount so that's one and after that we have taken a column layout here and in the column layout you can see here our category 
the different categories are nothing but the slab labels so these are the different slab label that we have defined in this particular local here and the chart series basically show the different amounts so the tax amount is like slab amount that we have taken here so what are the different amount for each slabs here that is also given by our expression rule and in this way even if we put a very large number we will be able to get all the different taxes here so see if somebody's income is like uh, let's say 50 lpa so how much tax he has to pay see here so for 4 to 8 the user will pay 8 to 12 pay 12 to 16 and then similarly it will keep on increasing and above 20 he has to pay 8 lakhs so total tax he has to pay is 12 lakhs of rupees that's it for today on building income tax calculator this tutorial will give you a very good understanding on using expression to do complex calculations as well we have covered everything from creating a dynamic expression to showing the data in UI using a new component card group layout and a graph as well. That's all for now. We will meet in some other tutorials. Thank you.